kill freedom, but you can't kill progress. Hey everybody, Chris Farad here. Welcome back. Uh, we've got a really solid lead on that Neon now. We went to that apartment um, that had that was like the, the cleaning company, and we actually found out that there's directions to an underground lab where it actually gets made. It's in the Prakatska district. So it says it's controlled by Diwali and there's, they mentioned in the uh, note that there were uh, two locked doors, which you have the codes for, but between those locked doors is like a turret. So that's gonna be pretty tough to deal with. Um, but for now, we're gonna head to Rizika. Um, I'm really interested in trying to figure out more about uh, Fletcher since he didn't check in after going to check out the bomb site. And uh, we just need to call up Ruzika Station, I guess, and uh, we can get across. I believe that's what he said. Do we get an update here? Uh, we don't get communication updates in there, but that's fine. Clank. Oh, they're calling me Clank. I've heard that a couple times now. Okay, Monument Station. Yeah, this is where we want to go. Whew, this is cool. Um, I want to try and balance out like the main missions and the side stuff a little bit better. I think I could probably do a better job of that. Um, admittedly, I'm really intrigued to see like where the main thing is going and like who can we trust and who can we not. Um, but I find that the side missions are all done really well and, and like exploring them is really interesting to me so let's get back Jensen, in here what's wrong what are you doing here miller sent me to find you thought you might have run into trouble he said that did he use those exact words because it's not my well, fault why didn't you check in what happened smiley one minute i'm in there running the show and the next they accuse me of trying to tamper with evidence me can you believe that i would never do that adam never it's our crime scene. Exactly. But try telling them that. The minute they went for their guns, I decided it was time to shut up and get out of there. They accuse me of tampering with evidence. They're probably destroying all the evidence there is right now. <laughs> you know, at first I thought this was about Sonia. Sonia? Sonia who? Oh, just some girl I've been teaching English to. Turns out her husband is a little territorial. You know the type. Smiley. Right. Back to the case. The thing is, I think I found something in there, something big, something that could just blow this case wide open. I just, I, I just need to get a look at the scan of the blast area, so... Actually, it's a good thing that you're here. I don't suppose you could... Jensen your way in there and <laughs> grab it for me? You know I could. Just give me more information. So what am I looking at in there? It's a blast site. There's debris everywhere, and plenty of cops, too. Once you get past the turnstiles and security offices, you should have a clean path to the tourist office where they have the scan. But they don't see you. How many cops are inside? I don't know. Several. They all had guns, so I didn't stop and count them all. There's at least one guy in an exosuit. Are you serious? And my guess is they'll shoot first and bury the bodies later. Of course they will. So what do you think is on the scan exactly? What do you think is on this scan? It's evidence, Jensen. A 3D mass spectrometer scan of the explosion site. And? And if I had one more minute in there, I'd have it with me right now and I could find out. But the fact that they don't want me to see it makes me want to see it even more. I'm sure it's important. We need that evidence. Yes, exactly. That's the spirit. We need it. But you won't be able to just walk in there <laughs> I like and this ask guy. them for it, since you're Interpol and, you know, augmented. After yesterday's attack, they're not exactly fans of the, uh, hmm. So where do I find it? The forensic team set up camp inside the tourist agency, or what used to be the tourist agency. Get to their setup, grab the DSD with the scan on it, and get out. Easy peasy. This could take a while, Smiley. Got it. I'll get out of your way, head back to HQ. Good luck, and, uh, uh, let's not tell Miller about this one, okay? I'll let you come up with the excuses, how about that? Right. <laughs> He's gonna know something's up, obviously. Okay, so, um, Smiley says there's important evidence on a data storage device inside the investigation perimeter. 
Uh, state police won't let anyone near it, least of all an AUG. But one way or another, I have to get it. And we will. Yes, we will. We might as well head back. There's no getting through that way. Oh, hold on. Might not be as easy as just saying we will. We could head through here, but it looks like it leads back somewhere else. This side, however, kind of the same deal. Here, let's check and see. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Okay, we're in. Oh, there is something. Okay, so these aren't going to show for us. I've never really paid too much attention to that previously, but now that we have the indicator for where we need to go, um, we'll have to make sure that we're still exploring and seeing if there's other ways. Oh, God. No that sign of a think someone might come try to Definitely. scrub the evidence. Ornick is riding a rig. What do we need with that kind of firepower? Is an army of ARC fanatics coming to scrub evidence? Everyone so he's already wearing knows a rig. The That's the one that he was talking Something about. Something else is going on. Just keep it down. You don't question SIS or maybe then you disappear. They do what they want. We just have to keep this site closed. Can I try to... <laughs> Fucking secret squirrels. Oh, I just drank uh, it. That's at not least ideal. They were good for a laugh. I was gonna try and throw it. You see it. that task force lab coat run out of here with his tail tucked? <laughs> Probably left a trail of urine behind him. You've got problems, Franca. Get back on patrol. Great. Now we're drunk. This is actually. This does make things difficult here. You know what? Let me work around this way. She's a twitchy one. What a fucking tragedy. We need more lights. I think you have the perfect amount of lights, if you ask me. Oh, nice. louder shit <laughs> does appear to be a way around smashing these vents is relatively quiet Is this going to trigger? It's going to put all the lights out? No, let's turn something on. Electricity. There's the guy in the suit. I don't know that I want that on. Oh, shit! Shit, shit, shit. He thinks he saw something, but he's not sure. Damn it. You feel super safe when you're up high like that, but... Let's see where else this goes. It's probably going to be beneficial for us to... try and take some of these guys out. Here, big boy. Sleep. You can keep it. I 
It seems like we're really close to it, but... Doesn't look like we have a way in through here, so... We're in the area. Uh... We're going, like, right through the... Yeah, that's not gonna help me. Won't be too much longer. And this is taking us further away. are we now? Oh, I see. We were way up there. Okay. So I think our best bet here is to probably circle back. This is not a firefight you want to take, even if you do want to kill everybody. There's so many of them, plus with that heavy soldier walking around. It's way too dangerous. But the good news is, this room that we're in is quite close to where we need to be. back there. Shit, that was probably my opening. I don't know what his movements are like. Actually, he was over there at, at one point, so he probably patrols the whole area. Seems like it. Careful. Oh, shit. Okay, what am I looking for? Oh, there's a Swear DSD right there. Got the scan. Yeah? Fantastic! Bring it back to my office and we'll see if I'm right. Copy that. Is there anything else? Oh, nice. We do have a way out here. I'm just going to see if there's anything else that could be of use in here. Printers, just a lot of stuff that we can throw if we needed to. And where the hell is this going to lead us? All things considered, that went well. Oh, shit. I gotta get that leg thing that helps us on the drops because this is not working out well. Gonna need you to head over to the Kepek Fountain Station. Someone called in sick to the ticket booth. You can tap in with 3998. Okay. Guess what? What am I supposed to put in the report? Explosive device? No fucking key. That went like all things considered pretty smoothly. Um let's just check here. So where's the one that helps us with the falling? I think it's this here, right? Icarus landing? Yeah. Slow the rate of descent when falling includes the Icarus strike ability. We definitely want this. There's so many. We want all of them, honestly. We want all of them. Oh, I like that on here too it shows us where we should be going. That's really helpful. Okay, let's head over.
Jens. Zasraný aug ve vagónu pro naturály. Chcete snad vyvolat paniku? Ukážte mi papíry. Dělejte nebo vás seberu. I don't have time to waste with this. Make it fast. Vemte si je a vypadněte, až příště pojedete metrem, použijte vagón pro augy. Máme svých problémů dost i bez takových potížistů okay. jako jste vy. Jensen, that actually could have worse. have a new lead in the case. It's going to put you inside Gollum City. The Aug Ghetto. Are you telling me you what don't get? think they should have footage get? from the attack? No. Chang was able to pull Use some images from it. Right. Trouble is, our new psychologist needs to clear you before you go oh, anywhere. Oh, are you serious? So I shouldn't tell her about this piece of evidence I've got for Smiley. Humor the bureaucrats, will you? Bring Smiley your evidence and give Ozen five minutes of your time. Call me when it's done. Okay, so we're going to have to head back to TF-29 then. Um, that's fine. We'll head back there. We'll do this interview and then hopefully she clears us. Hey, uh, you remember me? Not a customer. Finally decrypted the audio off the whisper chip tap. Fucking cold, man. And? You gotta hear it. I have my hands full right now. Tell me where you are and I'll come when I can. There's an old limb clinic in the Davni district. It's closed down. Nobody goes there anymore. I'll be inside. Okay, so we can meet her in the limb clinic? Alex says a bug we planted in Innocent's motherboard struck gold. She's waiting inside an abandoned limb clinic in the Davni district to play something for me. Okay. Okay, so, and he's here too, so this is good. Let's take this back to him first. Yeah, I've got them. Everyone's like, get in there. <coughs> We've got it. Give us a second. I wonder if this guy has anything laying around that could be useful. He's reading something. The Long Meanwhile by Daniel Fletcher. One razor straight line of chalk marked it. The position was important, you see. The cuff should just lightly brush the top of the shoe. Martin was there, as always, making sure my new suit fit just right. What's her name, Mr. Fletcher? Martin asked, taking his final measurements. Her name, I said, looking down at him, is Dr. Delara Alzen. That's the name of the psychologist. Sounds ominous. No, Martin, it sounds beautiful. I looked at myself in the mirror and approved. Well, you're gonna knock her out in this suit. I tilted my head, made a face, and smiled. That's the point. I don't know. I didn't know it then. That was the second to last time I would have a suit tailored, and the last time I would ever see Martin Cobbler, my master tailor, alive. <laughs> what? This guy is writing some interesting, uh, books. Should we? I'm doing it. I want to see what's in his safe before we talk to him. Anomaly detected. Trace access granted. I sometimes feel bad, but it's like it's occupational hazard, you know? Ooh. Oh, I don't feel bad at all. He wasn't using it. Hey, how's it going? Do you have the scan? Yeah, it's right here. You're a lifesaver, Adam. Seriously, Miller was in a foul mood when he left here. I don't need to give him another excuse to chew me out. He left. Where'd he go? Didn't ask, didn't think he wanted me to know. Did those state police jerks give you any grief? They didn't seem to be in a talkative mood, so I left them alone. See? Without my expert advice, you might be dead right now, Adam. A stitch in time saves nine. So what's on the scan? Oh, that. I have no idea. What? You told me you found something, something big. I didn't say I knew what it was, Adam. I said it was something that could blow this case wide open. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not buying this whole arc did it angle. I believe what the evidence tells me. This DSD has all the answers we need, from the chemical makeup of the explosive used down to the material in the victim's clothing. I'm sure of it. Okay, so how long until we're all sure of it? 
Oh, it, it'll take hours to sift through the data. And, and I'm seeing Sonya later to apologize for any issues I may have caused with the state police. Uh, plus, <laughs> I do have other cases to work on too, Adam. I'll let you know if I, when I find something. You do that. I think we just got used. Take it easy. Honestly, I feel like we just got used by this guy. Which pisses me off because if I really wanted to, we could just throw him under the bus for this creepy story he's writing. Hey, Jensen, what do you know? Yeah, what do you know? I know about your little book and your apparent fascination with the doctor, who I'm about to go see and maybe rat you out. Okay. Adam. I'm Here. Blair Ozen. I appreciate you coming in to speak with me, and... Well, I know you're probably getting this from everyone today, but I need to ask. Are you okay? I've seen footage from the train station, but... Being there must have... Is that what this is about? No. That was sympathy. This is a standard agent health interview to determine combat readiness. Here, I got you this from the dispensary. You got me neuropazine? Look, Doc, I was caught off guard by a terrorist attack. Might have knocked some things out of whack, but it doesn't mean my body's gonna start rejecting my augments. True, but traumatic experiences can kick a hornet's nest into the immune system. In patients with neuroprosthetics... Would you believe me if I told you my body doesn't reject mechanical implants? <laughs> no. But my policy is for straight talk only in the room, so if you want me to believe that you're some kind of medical miracle, I guess I'll have to go with it. <laughs> I mean... Please, have a seat. I have to see it to believe it, I guess. I've been looking over your file. There's some very interesting history here. Mind if we take a trip down memory lane? Is this gonna take long? It says here that you were with Detroit SWAT, but left in 26 to head up Seraph Industries Security Division. Uh -huh. David Seraph was at the center of America's augmentation debate. <laughs> Fine. David Seraph always attracted a lot of controversy. Yes, I've seen some of his interviews. A firm believer in human enhancement technologies. I wonder if the incident changed his view? Certainly didn't seem that way on the day. You were with him then? In Panchea? When the incident happened? <laughs> we'll tell her. Not at first. I was investigating the people responsible for attacking Seraph Industries. I was this close to exposing them when the incident hit. You weren't affected? No. So how did you end up in Panchea? I found out Saraf had left for the Arctic installation without me. I knew it was still under construction and most of its workforce was augmented. But by the time I got there, the damage had been done. Is there a reason we're dredging up the past? Because I don't see what any of this has to do with current events. She wants you? to understand, I think. Panchera was the fulcrum, Adam. For you and for all of society, everything changed that day. They dragged you out of the ocean and into a world that hates and fears people like you. Which actually leads me to my next question. So far, no one's claimed responsibility for the attack at Rizika. But with the human restoration vote coming, well, it's no secret Prague has become the symbol of legalized augmented oppression. And the Augmented Rights Coalition is camped at its back door, trying to expose and resist it. Most of the world thinks of them as terrorists. Augmented terrorists. If it turns out they are guilty, well, being augmented yourself... How am I gonna feel? I mean... It's a pretty complex issue, because... This wasn't my choice either, right? Like... There are no easy answers, Doc. If the Augmented are behind this, maybe they felt it was their only recourse. Or maybe terrorism would stop if the ruling class realized how often their own actions contribute to it. So investigating ARC, there's no value conflict for you? Right now, I'm just a cop. And it's criminals that are responsible for this chaos, Augmented or not. My job is to prevent further bloodshed. That's good to hear. Listen, Adam, I appreciate you taking the time to talk with me. That's all you wanted to talk about? I didn't realize I had a choice. You didn't. Still, I thank you. I'll let the director know that I'm officially clearing you for the field. Well, it's probably best if I get back to work, Doc. I'll see you around. Pretty hairy, you're right. 
Hmm. Okay, well that's good. We've got our clearance required. Looks like we're gonna get another Praxis here. Oh, we have two! That is fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna grab the Icarus landing now. I think the next few that we get, we should probably go into either our energy management a bit or more of the hacking. Probably more of the hacking. Um, if we get this up, 30%, 45%, like that's huge. And then even like once we access level five, it's probably best that we have uh, the best stealth hacking as possible. Increase defense rating point, raise it by a factor of two, factor of three, and then capturing. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, so now we can meet her in the limb clinic. I'm concerned about this. I don't know why... Maybe we have to go back and talk to him, but... <clears throat> you didn't get held up at a checkpoint or something, did you? I'm inside the clinic waiting for you. Yeah, I'm Sorry, Alex. I'll be there as soon as busy. I can. Hope you're not losing sight of what's important here. Sorry, this place just brings back memories. Don't take too long. I gotcha. You know, one thing we haven't done, we haven't... I'm thinking about the limb clinic and perhaps maybe finding Praxis there, but we haven't found any Praxis kits just lying around, I don't think. Seems like everyone has passed. I seem to remember being able to find those previously if we were looking in, like... I don't know, like, hidden locations and stuff. Where exactly is this limb clinic? Oh, it's actually... Okay. I know, like, when, I, when I'm when i looking at the map, I'm usually zoning in on where it is that we need to go, but... Um, when we get to a new place, I think what I'll do is take a look at, at everything and just figure out like which ones might be important. Like I'm seeing here now we've got a landing pad with a with a helicopter thing, which means I don't know what chicane is, but we're probably gonna end up there at some point. And maybe that takes us um, no somewhere problem. else entirely. <sighs> okay, um, I'm gonna take a break here before we go into the limb clinic. And then uh, when we get back, we'll talk to her right away and see what she has to say. And then from here, like, the only option, this will obviously lead us somewhere, but um, the only option will be to travel to Prokatska for the Neon Knights. I'm guessing we're going to have to head there at some point anyways. So uh, for now, let's carry on with this and see where that leads. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.